Live from WLNS-TV, this is 6 News This Morning. Good morning, Mid Michigan. Thank you so much for waking up with us. I'm Melissa Brennan. And I'm Jorma Duran. We're here for you now with the six things to know about as you start your day. New this morning, Michigan House Speaker Lee Chatfield says Governor Gretchen Whitmer's proposed gas tax increase is a non-starter for Republicans, and they're working on their own road funding plan. The lawmaker says he believes Michigan residents are furious over the proposal, and many of them simply can't afford the added cost. His comments on the plan come just one day after it received similar criticism from Republican Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky. The governor maintains that raising the fuel tax is the smartest, quickest way to generate the $2 billion needed to fix Michigan roads. She says she's open to other ideas as long as they offer real solutions. Chatfield says the state would need to ensure that all tax generated funds go towards fixing the roads. Currently, most gas tax funds go to schools and local governments. There's now new leadership within the State Board of Ethics. Governor Whitmer appointed Leslie Fritz, senior pastor of Albion First United Methodist Church, to succeed Mary Ann Middaw and Catherine McClure, former legal counsel and policy analyst for the Michigan Senate Democratic Caucus, as chair of the board. Appointments to the board are subject to the consent of the Senate. Both terms are set to end February of 2023. Happening today, Governor Whitmer will be in Jackson to continue her Road to Opportunity Tour. She'll be visiting classrooms at Northeast Elementary School, encouraging children to read as part of National Reading Month. Then later, she'll be meeting with Jackson officials to discuss her recent budget recommendations, specifically her plans to fix the roads, invest in education, and clean up Michigan's drinking water. Annual weight restrictions on Michigan roads go into effect next week and the city of East Lansing plans to post theirs later today. The temporary weight restrictions are meant to reduce road damage caused by winter thaw and heavy vehicles. The maximum weight allowed would be reduced by 25% on Class A roads and 35% on Class B. According to our media partners at MLive, Governor Whitmer recently said she supports the restrictions and thinks they should be adopted statewide on a more permanent basis as the state works toward a road funding plan. Previous efforts to change Michigan's limit to match national standards have failed in the past. Most statewide temporary restrictions go into effect on Monday. We're hearing for the first time this morning chilling details and a confession from the Michigan man accused of shooting a Saginaw Township police officer. Officer Jeff Koenig was conducting a routine traffic stop in January when he said Joshua Rosebush pulled out his gun and opened fire, shooting him in the face and shoulder. During his testimony, Koenig described the moments leading up to the shooting. He says he noticed Rosebush driving a pickup truck with no lights. So he pulled him over to tell him to turn them on. But instead, Rosebush shot him and led police on an hours long manhunt spanning three counties. So, what did you do when he approached your vehicle? Shot him point blank in the face. Prosecutors say that was Rosebush admitting to the shooting during a taped interview with investigators. They claim during this interview, Rosebush seemed emotional as investigators revealed that Officer Koenig had survived the shooting. Did you realize by shooting him there's a good possibility that you could have killed him? He didn't die. My understanding is he's not dead yet. <laughs> yeah. no. He's in serious condition. He is in serious shape. Oh my God. No? Oh my God, there's got to be so much worse. The officer is still recovering from injuries related to the shooting. Rose Bush remains in jail without bond until his next court appearance. No date for that has been set. Fadwa Hamoud, the newly appointed prosecutor of the Flint water crisis, is hitting the pause button on two key cases connected to the investigation. Hamoud says she needs more time to review charges against former city manager Darnell Earley and public works director Howard Croft. According to her, there are a lot of things about the case she doesn't agree with. Early faces charges of conspiracy and misconduct in office. Croft is charged with conspiracy. Former lead prosecutor Todd Flood previously promised he would present evidence to support additional charges of involuntary manslaughter. From Storm Tracker 6, this is Weather on the Sixes, sponsored by Auto Owners Insurance, trusted for generations. Well, so far this morning, we are starting off the day with temperatures now climbing into the teens for most spots. Now, just a few hours ago, 
Many of us were experiencing temperatures only in the single digits, so we've actually been noticing a warming trend because of some higher level clouds that have now reached across the area. It's 12 in Lansing, 15 degrees for Charlotte, 16 in Mason, Jackson, 17. We are in the 20s for Hillsdale, same thing in cold water. Cold water right now is at 23 degrees. The wind speeds this morning just calm and variable, and that's going to be the story throughout at least the morning hours. And then by the time we make it into the afternoon, we're just counting on southeasterly winds, absolutely no higher than 5 to 10 miles per hour. So a relatively calm day is in store for us today. Satellite and radar, just some higher level clouds across portions of the region. We have a few snow showers that are south and west of the state line, but we are not too concerned about that. Precision cast taking us toward lunchtime at this point. You can expect to see partly cloudy skies. Same thing during the afternoon. Skies will remain partly cloudy tonight. And then notice by daybreak tomorrow, we're sunny, but that quickly changes. We have increasing cloud cover, and then some rain is set to build in as we go into Saturday evening. That will continue into Saturday night. Your daily planner today, enjoy the sunshine. It's going to feel so nice outside, 20 by 9, 30 degrees by noon. And then we're going to be topping things out near 36 degrees late this afternoon. And again, winds relatively calm. It is amazing how an area will celebrate 36. temperatures above <laughs> I know, it's, 32 degrees. Yeah, it's like shorts weather here. Yeah, we're getting ready. Yeah, we're excited. It's going to feel fantastic today. Take advantage tomorrow. Uh, it looks pretty good and a little yeah. warmer, so we're moving in the right direction. Party We'd today, to party that. Saturday, sunny, windy, so right. we'll get our feel for but the next we'll party today. Yeah, we'll party today we're tomorrow. closer to spring, though. <laughs> yeah, Every right. day. Every right. day. Spring. <laughs> well, still ahead. Veronica Gabriel will join us live from the Outdoor Life Field and Stream Expo with everything you need to know about the three-day show. And then later, we have a scam alert for Michigan residents. Stay with Six for details on how you can keep your personal information safe. All right, your time is now 6.08. Here's a live view over Hillsdale. Thanks for watching.